Guys, hi Thumos, we gotta talk. Listen, I'm excited to talk to you about this. I'm gonna make it quick, no need to prolong it, but listen, you understand this, you start looking at the world differently, and you start setting yourself up to have success, not right in the moment, but five, 10 years, and so on down the road. I wish that I had this mindset. I wish my parents kind of told me this. Honestly, I think they kind of did in ways, but the way I'm gonna tell you is probably hopefully a lot easier to remember and to think about on a daily basis. This is coming right from the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, okay? I had a poor dad. I had a poor dad that had a lot of poor ways of thinking. My dad um, struggled a lot growing up. Um, we as a family struggled a lot and it wasn't fun. You know, there was, it, it ruined my parents. I really think that financial problems was what ruined my parents. I was the oldest of six kids and I see, that, I see them struggling and it ruined them in the end. Um, I think the stress, the stress, too much stress from worrying about money is going to ruin your health. So I don't want you to have to deal with that. So anyway, let's let's just get to this mindset. This is what he says his rich dad taught him. He said that his rich dad wanted him to know one thing and to always have that ingrained in his brain is that you need to build assets and you need to stay away from accumulating too many liabilities. You need to have more assets than liabilities. So to make this crystal clear, let's just look at a liability as something that takes away energy from you. It takes away time, it takes away money, it takes away energy from you. It, it, it requires con constant attention or a fee that you pay to it. This could be in the form of, you know, a liability is something that you gotta pay for on a monthly basis. Your car is a liability, all right? Now, if you have a car payment. So, uh, asset is something that takes and it gives you, it doesn't take you, but it gives you something, it gives you time, it gives you energy, it gives you power, it gives you money. And these are things that you can start to look at as trying to build in your life, okay? Now, let me just tell you, most people go through life, they don't really care about assets and they own a lot of liabilities. They never have their mind, I'm gonna set out, I'm gonna build assets in my life. I'm, I'm gonna have this asset, I'm gonna have this asset, and this asset, and the more assets that you have, the more power, the more energy, the more wealth that you're creating that's giving back to you, it's fueling your freedom. It's fueling you to be free. Liabilities are what is draining your energy, is what's draining you. It's why you gotta keep going to work and then you get the paycheck and then all of your money is going out. You want to create assets that are machines that are working for you. You put your money into something, you, you, you have something there. It doesn't just have to be money. An asset could be a lot of other things. For instance, the library is a huge asset. I came across this book. Someone recommended it to me. I was going to order it. I mean, I played around in my mind. Am I going to get this book? Sure, I'll order it one day. I went to the, my local library. And I found this book on the shelf. That's a huge asset, man. The library no one goes to anymore. But here you have something that's free. You can walk in. Please, can I have a library card? And then, boom, you have access to a plethora of amazing minds, amazing books that can teach you something, that can help you get on a rut. That is an asset. That can save you a lot of time. That can make you a lot of money. It's giving you more than it's taking from you. Okay? And so... Let's understand the essence. We have to build these things. We have to look, and it's very like fun to think this way. It's a mindset shift. The poor people, poor in spirit, poor in health, poor in mind, they're not thinking about setting up their lives to have more assets. They're focused on consuming, creating much debt in their life that they got to continually owe. And uh, debt can be beneficial. We're not going to talk about that here. But what I'm saying is they put the chains on the on themselves that way they're never able to be free true wealth is being able to be free from having to be told what to do all the time from having to go to a job that you absolutely hate i call this the pirate's life and and for a young man you got to start thinking about this early man you got to start thinking about how am i setting on my life is it leading me down to be shackled and and as much as i try just like you know pushing that ball up the hill it just it's, it keeps coming down 
and I keep struggling. And so let's think, how can we build assets? I'm going to give you a quick example. This YouTube channel for me is an asset. It's taken me a long time. We're almost at 100K. It's amazing. Thank you guys for all the support. Seriously, I really appreciate it. And this is an asset to me, okay? But I was thinking, you know what? Now that I have this mentality that I need to create more assets in my life, what can that be? What else can I do? Well, I like to yo-yo, as many of you guys know. The yo-yo has brought me a lot of joy. And this is something that I, you know, I just do on my, in my free time. I'm pretty good at it, I would say, and I enjoy teaching other people how to do it. The thing is, none of my buddies in real life wanted to yo-yo. But guess what? That doesn't matter because there's an entire amount of people online that care about yo-yoing, that really like it. Yo-yoing and actually having the courage to put this thing online was, uh, it actually got me in contact with the world yo-yo champion, Gentry Stein. And I have his number. We're actually buddies now. We talk about working out. We talk about yo-yoing. He sent me some stuff. He sent me this yo-yo, actually. This is his signature yo-yo. And that's, that's because I had the willingness to not just yo-yo in my own house, but to yo-yo on camera. And so I started thinking, well, you know what? Since I like to yo-yo so much, why don't I share this, this kind of hobby, this passion, and this love for yo-yoing with other people? I think it could help their, their mindsets. I think it could make them more present. It's like meditation. I think it could make you better with your dexterity and um, you know just, just uh, hand-eye coordination. And it's, it's great. I want to teach other people. So what did I do? I started a channel. And I started to look at this channel. And I was uploading videos. I didn't upload for a year, right? So for the last year, I haven't uploaded. Because I was like, uh, you know, no, dude, people like it. It was all about 900 subscribers on this channel. It's called Throw. I'll link you to my yo-yo channel in the link uh, below, the description below. So I just kind of slept on it. I was like, yeah, whatever. It's not. But then I started thinking, hold on a second. If I'm going through my life and I'm trying to create assets, this is an asset. I could take a YouTube channel, I could build it, even just a thousand, there's almost a thousand people on there. I could teach them how to yo-yo. My, I'm getting maybe 10,000 views a month on this channel just sitting there. It's literally just sitting there like, like camp, like a monopoly thing, just sitting there. I could put ads on it. I could collect a little bit of ad revenue. Even though it's a little bit, that's money that's coming in that I'm not even working for. I, I did a three minute yo-yo video, it got 20,000 views, and now I have a little bit of ad revenue just coming. And what about in five years, when that's still up, when kids are yo-yoing, when, when someone wants to learn how to yo-yo, and they see how to tie a yo-yo knot, all right? How to, how to do a basic, you know, uh, bind, just like that. How to do these things, it's going to be there, so it's going to collect ad revenue over time. Then I started thinking, hmm, well if I keep making videos, and I develop a, a small following, people that trust me, people that care, well, maybe I can sell merch. Maybe I can sell cool yo-yo merch. And then I started thinking more, well, you know, I'm creating assets, what else? Well, I could have a signature yo-yo. I could talk to Gentry Stein. Maybe I could have a signature yo-yo, a high Fimos yo-yo. I actually talked to him and that's gonna be a thing. I'll actually probably offer it to you guys on this channel. I just gotta get that set up. We'll do a limited run of high Fimos yo-yos. It'll be metal. Um, it won't be that expensive, but it'll be it'll be a cool yo-yo. So I, I'm, I'm thinking now in this, this model of creating more assets in my life. And, and the yo-yo channel was something that I'm gonna do. And so what I got from this is that we have all of these opportunities around us, but I think a lot of us don't see them. And so I wanna tell you just a key thing that I think will help you for the future going forward to create assets, whatever your hobbies may be. You could like gaming, you could like knitting, you could like uh, pretty much anything. You're like making little paper origami. You could like cooking. Whatever it is, you yourself, you got your own personality. That makes you special in and of itself. No one is you. No one's going to be me. And whatever you know, little oddities that I have, how sometimes I'm this way, sometimes I'm that way. No one's going to have that ever combined with my liking, my interest for something. If I take that something and I decide to share that with other people, that is going to become an asset. It can become an asset if you decide to make it that. I would recommend whatever hobby it may be, that instead of you doing it locked alone in your doors, talking to no one, kind of exiting the world for a while, just simply share that. Find a way to share it. I built this YouTube channel from my phone. That's not bragging. It's honestly because I didn't know how else to do it. All I had was a phone. Before that, I had an Amazon tab. I didn't even have internet. I would just go to the library and then I would upload from their Wi-Fi. And so 
find a way to share what it is you like doing. If it's gaming, then dude, make these little 30 second gaming clips. They get hundreds of thousands of views of cool clips of you gaming. People love gaming. It's the biggest industry. Entertainment. It's fun. It's easy. It's digestible. Boom. You could do this. Why, if you're going to game, why not just share that and put it out into the real world? Why only you get to enjoy the game and your experience with the game? Share that experience with someone else, man. Share that experience with someone else that doesn't have a PC or an Xbox or a PS5, you know, because we can't get them. Share that thing. There's, there's a kid just like, man, you know, he's around his house. He's bored. And he sees yours. And maybe you're a cool dude, too. You know, maybe you're not just sharing games. Maybe you're sharing positivity. And, and maybe you're combining games and lifting or games and math. I don't know, whatever it is. You got to figure this out. Stop being selfish. All right? Seriously, stop being selfish. Stop living like that. You got to think, how can I give? You got to give, 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 You got to give, man. All right? And then that's how you get. Okay? And that's how you got to live your life. You got to constantly put energy out there. You got to give it. It could be in the form of just sharing, passion. You got to give, you got to create, you got to give the money to the right source to start working for you. If you're constantly stuck, you know, I'm, I'm play around, give, give, give. But listen, seriously, if you're stuck in the mindset of I got to get, I got to get, I got to save my life. I got to save. I got to, I got to, you know, hoard. You're never going to get, man. For those who try to save their life, they will surely lose it. For those who give their life, their life will be saved. Okay. And you do that by giving your time, by giving your energy, not holding too tightly and um, being closed off. And so I'm telling you, let's start thinking now, what assets do we have? We are assets, right? Even though we got to take, we got to pay for the food, we got to you know, pay for toilet paper to wipe our butt. You know, we're still an asset, so keep your body healthy. Keep it thriving. Keep Make it a weapon. Make it a unit. That's an asset. The Discord for me... Dude, these guys, the group coming together, that's a huge asset for all of these men. I mean, think about, that's a win-win for me, man. The Discord group and then the men in that group is just, is it, it's, it's amazing. Like, seriously, guys, I want you to experience this. It's not, it's $5 to join and it's that powerful. But I'm not going to try to sell you on that. If you're interested, just check it out. If you don't even care, don't check it out. I'm not going to force you. But it's similar where that guys get together and we talk and we share experience. We actually got together recently. And it's amazing. So think about creating more assets in your life. If, if that's something that gives you better ideas, if it's something that makes you more money, if it's investing your money into the stock market, into cryptocurrency, get curious, start looking at trends. These NFTs, is it a trend? Is it worth looking into? What about staking? Can I stake my Ethereum? Can I stake this and that? Can I, that's literally just put money in on a Coinbase account. It just sits there and it gains you money. And then that money accumulates and then you have compound effect. All right. There's so many opportunities out there. You can't sleep on them. You just got to be curious. But you, this this mindset of simply is this my action right now? What am I buying? Is me buying a five hundred dollar car payment? Is this an asset or is this a liability? All right. Is this a liability? And every month I'm gonna have these shackles, these golden handcuffs around my wrists that are just keeping me from being happy. All right, and I gotta pay five hundred dollars every single month to maintain these four rubber wheels to get in me to dude, dude. I can't go anywhere at this point. Go to the gym. Where else can you go? You know, where else are you really driving to? Do you need a five hundred dollar car payment? Probably not. And that's going to drain you. It's going to take more and more energy and more this willpower and this. Ah, I gotta get through it. And if you're there, fine, man. Just you know, embrace the journey. Nut, you know, scoop the nuts. And keep going but you gotta make sure you start thinking how can i i gotta create assets get away from these liabilities you know get away from all these liabilities man all right stop trying to shackle down a relationship so quick and just hunt for girls and you know get in a really that's a liability dude you don't even have enough assets to have this liability all right and so you got to think about that dude you got to think about it this is your future. This is you. This is your happiness. You may feel, you may feel on top of the world right now, okay? Because you're probably young. You, you got enough resource. People are taking care of you. Get out into the real world on your own, and you notice that it's hard. It's a cold place, but you can make it. It's a, there's a game. It's a strategy. 
I just want you to be aware of these, all right? Let's build the assets. Let's just keep our mind on that. Let's build more assets in our life. Love you guys. If you like the video, subscribe and uh, drop a like, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Peace.